Okay, let's continue with the video. If you missed the last part, there is a link in the description. Okay, let's go and select base color, normal, and heat map. For this example, I'm going to use just these three maps. Okay, I'm going to import the base, the base shape. I'm going to close and here I'm going to set as true, get one separately. Okay, now I'm going to export the same maps but just add the opacity map. Okay, in a different folder, export, close. Now let's go to Maya and let's get started um, modeling a cactus shape with a simple cylinder. Okay, uh, I'm going to increase the subdivisions and let's go and select the edge, control V. So I'm going to increase the geometry here from the top of the cactus. I'm going to delete these faces in order to do not have any problems with the form in the cactus, okay. Okay, I'm going to just move it here and increase the size. I will add more geometry here, control V. Okay, let's go and select the vertex from the top and I'm going to move it a little down here and now let's go to the base of the cactus and move it down okay now let's go and create a new material name it cactus shape okay and I'm going to change the name from the cylinder to cactus. I'm going to set up very, very quickly my maps. Base color. Normal map. Okay, now I'm going to open the UV editor and let's go and select all my UVs okay, from here and let's go to Unitize okay something I need to do is delete these faces from the base of the cactus Okay, we don't need it. Let's go and select these line of edges and convert to UVs. Now let's go and inverse the selection. You can go here and select an inverse as well. And now let's go and move on to Now I'm going to select everything and press here in layout. Holding shift, I'm going to unfold this and let's go and modify our UVs.
okay i think something like that it, it's okay now we have our shape i need to modify a little more okay now i think it's good well now i'm going to copy the same the same mesh but i'm looking that i have a mistake at the time i exported the the maps from player okay i'm going to copy and name it torn and let's go to player again uh, i don't want 2d torns in my shape so i'm going to export again my maps without the opacity okay close let's go to my again and now it's perfect because we are going to add the thorns with this shape okay let's go and add a new material I'm going to set up the maps very very quickly I'm going to add transparency for this one okay now it's good just let's add the normal map okay now it's ready so yes let's go to cactus to the cactus shape i'm going to isolate this one and let's go to the form and texture okay i'm going to select a file the height map open okay um, let's go back and change to normal okay i think something like that is good now it looks as a cactus and let's go to the torn shape and as the same way let's go and select the hay map Okay, let's change to normal. Doesn't happen because I have isolated. And very quickly we have a cactus with this look to use in a architectural visualization. Thanks for watching.